Oh, righty. Good evening. Yeah, good evening, everybody. How are we all doing tonight? Bit a bit of an early evening, but uh, this is this is not tonight's main event. This is a bonus stream. Uh, English fan translation patch for uh, Shiren Four Plus on the PSP just came out today, so uh, I wanted to take a look at it. Seems like the game might be a little loud. Uh, certainly loud in my ears. Oh, I'll see how we go. I'll jigger with things on the fly. Um, yeah. Uh, Sharon 4. Now available in English. Uh, there's patch link in the pinned comment. Go check it out. Uh, if you're interested. The, uh, the patch is by uh, uh, Shark Snack uh, and a few others. Uh, Shark Snack also worked on the uh, English patch for Shiren 2 on the N64. And they've done a, a fair bit, to be honest. They're like, I, I don't know, I'd call like a, a Shiren super fan. There's a bunch of like uh, guides and, and wiki style stuff that they've put together for the Shiren games. There's yeah, uh, definitely the kind of person you want working on a translation patch. Um, but yeah, we're we gonna check it out. Basically, that's that's what we're here for. Uh, I will say a few things. I'm not a like, I'm not well up on the Shiren series myself. I am familiar with it in the like mystery dungeon sense, uh, and I have played. Uh, the DS port of Shiren 1, which actually got an official English release. Uh, unfortunately, most of the series is not available in English outside of fan translations. I say that. The latest one, Shiren 6, is coming out in English sometime next month. So, hey. There you go. Um... Yeah, so basically don't expect, uh, like, a super knowledge of the series from me on this one. Uh, I was just excited to see a new fan translation come out, and I wanted to check it out. You you guys know me. I, I try to check out many fan translations where possible. Um, uh... Oh yeah, we're playing on actual PSP for this one, like proper hardware via uh, video out cables, because I managed to fix my PSP video out cables uh, last month. I was I was tossing up, because we're also doing Fate CCC at the moment, which is another PSP game, um, and I was like, ah, I, I should try to get my like PSP working proper for capture reasons again. Uh, but we're not we're not doing the PSP itself for Fate CCC for for reasons uh being able to use the emulation quick save allows us to do a bit of shenanigans with ccc and and getting to see some like extra dialogue and such but uh, here we're we're playing on legitimate hardware captured like P uh, psp 3000 using video out cables now, this is uh this is a very old psp 3000 at this point this is uh i've taken to calling it the the PSP of Theseus, if you're familiar with the ship of Theseus theory. A, uh, once you've replaced all the parts in a thing so many times, is it still the same unit? This this PSP has had, I think, two, two or three new screens over its lifetime. Uh, I've replaced the D-pad, the, uh, the face buttons. Um, I, I haven't replaced the battery, oddly enough. Uh... I know a lot of people have have trouble with with PSP batteries over the years, but I've still got the original battery in this thing, and it's it's in like perfect condition. It's not not pillowed or anything, surprisingly. But um, yeah, this this are old PSP. <laughs> and yes, this is this is very like roguelike. Th this is this is the the mystery dungeon series. The first game in the mystery dungeon series was uh uh Torneko's Adventure, which was uh, like Dragon Quest spin-off based off of Torneko's chapter from Dragon Quest 4, 
And then the second Mystery Dungeon game was the original Shiren. Um, and these days, Mystery Dungeon is probably most known for its Pokemon games, uh, but it's all still under the same, like, Mystery Dungeon series. Uh, I... I'd have to dig through my collection of PSP batteries to see if any of them have pillowed, but the one that's in this hasn't. Um... <laughs> this, this had, like, an official... I probably shouldn't click these buttons, it's gonna do weird things. Yeah. It's gonna actually try to connect to the internet, which... But that you 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 could officially uh, link this up to Twitter if you're familiar with some of the Shiren games. You have like rescue codes, uh, which you can use to have other players come like rescue you when you die in a dungeon, which is what you can use the the Twitter link for this. The, the irony there being Twitter is no longer even Twitter anymore. How times have changed. Um... Twitter is that old, Fab. This this game is from 2012, and I'm pretty sure Twitter's older than that, but keep in mind, Twitter also, like, took the fuck off in Japan. It was, like, properly integrated into, like, a bunch of things. Oh yeah, we have we have a little ferret companion Com companion companion It'll be it'll always be Twitter to me because I call it Twitter Also, we're uh, channeling our inner Adol for the start of this adventure. Boat, storm, crash, washed up on a beach. Gonna go find some books. Like, I know Musk has been trying to make X a thing forever. And he just forced it on Twitter, but no one, no one calls it that. It, it doesn't work. I, I will say I am still using my old, uh, like, capture setup for, uh, like... pre HDMI video out. I do have something else in mind that I want to do. I want to get a um uh what's it called? Uh RetroTink 5X. Uh it's just uh <laughs> it's, it's 325 burgers, which that's like nearly 500 koalas. That's a lot of money. Yeah, so for you, how's it going? You you actually do legitimately see a lot of like places just listed as site formerly known as Twitter.
from what I'm aware of the Shire End games, there is a like a timeline to them, but they're all self-contained adventures. Um, th this technically takes place after the Game Boy game, I believe. Uh, but yeah, as I said, from what I'm aware, it's it's well, East East is more directly connected. Uh, whereas this is like. There is a, as I said, there is a legitimate timeline to Shiren's adventures, but each one is a, a self-contained story. Uh, as I said, I am I am no expert in the Shiren franchise. I've I've done a little bit of research. Uh, planet fan translation, Iman. That's that's usually. Why there's streams at, at weird times is a fan translation patch dropped, and I'm covering it. Well, East, East is also more... Uh... Like, as far as I'm aware, the only, like, characters that, that hold over from each game directly are Copa and Shiren for the Shiren games, whereas East, like, has a whole cast of characters. Um, like, Do Dogi makes frequent appearances in, you know, supporting and just outright playable character status. As I say, Phil, I don't, I don't actually know uh, the Shiren games that well, unfortunately. Yeah, we, we, we went over a bit of the history of the, the um, Mystery Dungeon uh, series at the start of the stream. And yeah, I said that most, most people these days know it from Pokemon, but that was not the start. The start was Torneco, and then Shiren was the, like, it's... it's the, the Shiren games are like the... The mystery dungeon games, as such, because it's 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 its own IP, whereas um, like the Pokemon and Dragon Quest ones are like spin offy type things. There's a bunch of other like uh, mystery dungeon style spin offs as well, if I recall. Um, uh, Yggdrasil's Labyrinth does a, a mystery dungeon crossover. Um, and obviously the, the style of game, uh, is very popular, the, like, more traditional, uh, like, roguelike style, with a permadeath, and, uh, well, you'll see as we get into it. There's a lot of, of games in this style now. It's very, very popular. At least in Japan, it's very popular. Uh, well, I think Omega Labyrinth, which what Ant said there, is the, uh, the booby one, uh, if I recall. With the... Uh, um... I 
I can't remember if it was that or its sequel of Mega Labyrinth Z. But w one of them got a like a full uh like official translation that was ready to go, ready to print. Uh and it got shit canned because of Sony. But yeah, this is a, like, as I said, very traditional roguelike, step-by-step. Thankfully, I am familiar with the basics of the game from uh, playing the DS port of 1. And, if so, of course, something on my end of, the, end of the spectrum. The music, I think, for the earlier games was done by uh, Sugiyama of Dragon Quest fame. But yeah, as I said, back in the day, this had full-on Twitter integration. Yeah, okay, so it was said. I, I couldn't remember if it was the original game or the, the sequel. Now we're looking more like it. Didn't they release, wasn't there a recent, like, Bullet Girls game that was, like, a JRPG style? Might not be so recent. That I think was uh, wasn't in the DS game was the uh, walk in place function. Banana. Oh yeah, this game has like a passage of time mechanic. It'll eventually become night. Oh, banana. 
Was it Donkey Kong? I think it's Donkey Kong. Oh boy. <laughs> There's probably a reason this didn't get released in English. Time. Oh. Hey, uh, and look, how's it going? Welcome, everybody. Now uh, we are just uh, checking out the the no raid sound. Re really? Because I heard it. Interesting. That's worrying. Why can I hear it, but not you? Oh, most concerning. Uh... Alright, hang on. Give me a sec. I need to... It's weird. Um... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa. It's Alexander. Uh. Crap, where do I keep my... There we are. Oh. Yeah, that's the Metal Gear variant. So that one works. Or does it? Did you hear that? Alright, how about... Uh... The, the regular ver variant is actually... Yeah. Um... Where's my buttons? Here, buttons, 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 buttons. Got sound, okay. It might be the sounds... Okay, so it's, it's probably just the case that the sound's a little low because they're using old-school uh, capture today because they're using, uh, like, actual hardware capture. Uh, so the audio is all routed through the same source, uh, unfortunately. So I can't, I can't separate the uh, alerts from the game audio. Uh, so, uh, crap. We'll just have to roll with it for now. Uh, as for how is Shiren, we, we, we've we just done the, like, tutorial dungeon. We're still very, very much at the, the start. Anyway, as I was saying, thanks for the raid. Uh, and log, how's it going? What what were you playing? Retro doesn't really tell me much. 
Retro can cover, I mean, retro probably covers PSP these days, ugh. Hey there, Nova, how's it going? I refuse to accept a PS3 as retro. It has HDMI, it's not retro. That's my cutoff point. Yeah, good luck getting him to use display, though. Oh, I fucking love that game! Uh, the, yeah, the Kyoku Megami Tensei, the, the MT1 and 2, like, collection ported into the SMT1 engine is one of my all-time favorite video games. Um, that's, yeah. <laughs> if you haven't played that you're before, you're in for a great time. If you have played that before, you know you're in for a great time. That's, that's legit one of my all-time favorite video games. Marathon? God, no. But we, we have been, like, picking at the... the Meg 10 catalog over the years. It's it's a long journey though. Well, we do the Metal Gear Marathon every year. That's a marathon of games that I really enjoy. <laughs> the problem is most games I enjoy are super fucking long. We did, we did uh, Final Fantasy February a couple of years back, but that's, that was because there was a, like a, a blank uh, in February for releases. Uh, that was a good time, uh, but hardly a marathon. We, we covered like, what, an X-Pack and a bit of FF14. the back end of Stormblood and all of Shadowbringers. Uh, as for Macross 30, I mean, I would not be opposed to doing Macross 30 again, uh, but it'll have the same problem it had the first time. It's not in English, so you'll be getting like a scuffed summary from me. And, uh, the VODs. Oof, the VODs. <laughs> so much licensed music. I mean, you could just declare them monsters, the foreigners. That's that's how that works, isn't it? Oh, Lion King. He's a fame. Actually, it could be Tiger Man's. Okay, it's a Tiger Man's. It's king!
I've only played the first one, Log, so as I was saying earlier, I'm no uh, expert on the series. Mystery dungeons I've played bits and pieces of different ones over the years. That's what happens when you go to bat for strangers. You get held hostage. Banana. That <laughs> that's a joke. It doesn't work in English. Okay. Onigiri being the uh, default food stuff in the original game. Seems like quite a nice thing to just be given a one up.
From what I'm aware, it's monsters get nasty after dark. Definitely something we need to keep in mind. Just purely relying on the fact that we're a generic hero, man. Generally speaking, don't want to equip random unidentified items. Do we have any banana? We have one banana. Okay.
Okay. Dungeon time. Let the games commence. Just casually? We went from a, what, two defense shield to a 13 defense shield? Don't mind me. If that's seeded just to give you a, a like a chunk of defense oh well, it's this is more than the fourth game at this point uh It gets confusing, though, is there's, like... So there's Shiren 2 on the N64, and then Shiren 2 on the DS, and those are two different games. No worries, Sion. Uh, we'll probably be here for a while yet, so feel free to jump in when you get home. Na 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 na. Thank you. 
Opodile? Inventory is going to be full now. <laughs> I was going to say shortly. It is full now. Does this still give you max HP if you eat it while you're at max HP? It does. Okay. Oh! Asshole stole my money. Got my money back. It's it's a frog wallet? Not Naruto? fun when no one can hit each other. I do quite like the tunes here. Not sure how many pages of items I get. Uh, in in Sharon One, you only had two pages of items, so. expecting him to spring behind me.
Multiple thieves. That's a problem. Oh! Thanks, uh, thanks for the follow, Redbeard. How's it going? As for oddly comfy, that that is sort of the like mystery dungeon uh, series as a whole. Until shit gets real, then it's not so comfy. Count as arrows. I think so. Oh, lovely. That makes things complicated. Actually can't see. What is yellow? Oh, NPC.
Lost one strength due to poison. I don't know if there's a way to counteract that while in a dungeon. Maybe some kind of antidote or something. Oh great, we lost another strength due to poison. Well, we're not dead, so... Now, I wonder, did, uh... Nope. I was, I was wondering if leveling up maybe cleared the poison. It does not. Myopic Masher. Oh, okay. But yeah, it, it, as you're saying, like comfy end of things. It's it's sort of similar to the like the dungeon crawler style games I enjoy, except it's it's uh, top down instead of first person. Probably not like big comfy for everyone, but it it definitely uh, works for me. Wonder actually does yes that does do exactly that. Just casually. All right, you can't use the powers of darkness. Here, have a necklace.
Oh. I only got eight shots. Okay. Ah, that's how we get our strength. Whoa, expensive. Problem is, I don't know what um, what I want to be holding on to and what I can sell off yet. Oh, oh dear, excuse me. Okay. Oh, okay.
Might be worth putting a tag on our our katana na 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 na. Possibly our shield, to be honest. How do I put into pot, though? It's, yeah, it's certainly been, like, a good time for fan translations, that's for sure. Um... Lots, just lots happening. Um... It's really good to see. I think a lot of it's come down to, like, there's a lot of emulators that are in good place now. Um, there's a lot of, sort of, tools out there um it's yeah things are going well Actually, they did translate the instruction manual, so let me see if that says anything about putting items in a pot. I've got the mail pot. I was gonna put the fancy sword, or the the second fancy sword, in a mail pot. Uh, uh. So, assumedly, it would be delivered back to the main village. I'm just not quite sure how to use the pots. Uh, 
I'd like to send that. Uh, I, I know not how to. flick through the manual doesn't seem there's lots of talk of the pots and different putting things into pots but not how you actually put something in a pot I should have grabbed more torches, actually. <laughs> what? Is the monsters are leveling up? What's going on? Okay. Insert. Okay, so we, we just we can't use the pots uh in town. It has to be used in dungeons. Okay, that's uh, that's fine, Nadine. like monster arena going on where they're just killing each other build banana but also ouch
I want to go too far from the exit stairs. So we're running out of bullets. Okay, we are officially out of bullets. I think our torch is about to go down as well. Well, ow! This might be dangerous. Oh, okay. Someone collapsed. Don't know who. Could possibly have been that squid that was in front of us. Oh, I can load multiple. The disengage on attack, that's kind of annoying. East Fang.
So now if I'm understanding that, it's got no... Uh, uses left, so I can just toss it? We need a pickaxe. Also, it's becoming dangerously close to night again. It's, it's a... Rice bowl bear! Lady walks up to you in a dungeon. Well, shit. Oh, God. That was really bad. Remember, kids, don't eat rotten bananas. Day-night cycle certainly makes things interesting. As I said, I can just, like, throw that away now, because its job is done?
A boom bullet. Oh, I wonder if you could do something meta, meta as such. Load up a storage pot and then put a storage pot in a mailing pot. Potception? Wait, can you put pots within pots within pots? Oh boy, how how deep does this pothole go? Endless recursion of pots. Pots all the way down. Concerning bit is we've only got one torch left.
Wait, it's a blessed spoiled banana? Oh god. Our strength is in a very dire state. Two out of eight strength. I don't actually know what happens if we, like, zero out our strength. I don't know if that's, like, an alternate death condition, or you just, like, do no damage. Give me a second, sorry. Not sure what growth status was, probably like an XP multiplier. Ah, okay, no, I can't, I can't pot within a pot. Okay. Probably can't put, uh, storage pots in the mail pot.
Oh boy, this seems questionable. What happens if I like put my spoiled bananas in? That's the thief. And it took my revive grass. You fucker. Uh, I have no idea, uh, Nova. Did it? Did that bastard just eat my revive grass? And he probably goes away as well at the turn of the night. I can't even... Dang it! You bastard! Our big concern is this is our last torch. No, he's not. Sleep well, man. Take it easy. trouble. We've got one attack left. We found the stairs, thank god. Yeah. 
the ambience does actually make things a little spooky. Holy Christ! Now, we're still in a lot of trouble because that's our last torch. Oh, our strength came back at some point. This is a problem. I don't know how to not be here, though, as such. It's not like I haven't explored everything that was available. That broke pots. Okay, that makes that more dangerous by a long way. like the dull gold shield could potentially upgrade into something that'll sell for a lot of money. Yeah, it is. Defense 2, it's garbage. Uh, but my guess is, as I was saying, because it, it, it has the upgrade bar, um, maybe you upgrade it. Uh, it sells for a lot.
Those knockback arrows are a problem. What? What? Oh. That was nasty. Uh, I might be dead here because of the slowdown. See ya! That did not save me. Oh my god! Okay, we have an out. What do you mean no targets were around? Alright. We gotta pull out. God damn, that... <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Well, at least we got cash money, and we got to keep our items. It wasn't the night that killed us. It was just the spicy monsters during the daytime.
That's a nice reward anyway. Alright, well, I had only intended to do a couple of hours of this, and we have indeed done a couple of hours uh, at pretty much a perfect timing there. Our first sort of main run came to an end at about the two hour mark. So, uh, yeah, I will, I will pack things up here for this for now. Uh, I will probably stream some more runs uh, later down the line, but... Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here because I'm gonna do uh, sort of a mainstream uh, later tonight. Uh, we'll be continuing on with uh, Fate CCC. Um, but yeah, anyone that was uh, interested in the patch, the link is still in the pinned comment. I will I will just relink the patch properly as well. Give me a second. Uh, for anyone that wants to grab it and check it out for yourselves. Uh, as I said, I'll probably do some more runs of this later down the line. Um, so yeah, it's, it, it is the kind of game I, I, I enjoy. So, um, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's about all I got for now. Uh... Tune back in in a few hours for a Fade Extra CCC. Mm, but otherwise, for now, that is all. Thanks for watching, everyone, and hopefully I'll see you all next time.